Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Stevens Week. This week I'm filming from Istanbul in Turkey. I have two keynotes here and I'm very excited that I can share the updates of technology, marketing and customer experience with you in this new episode. Welcome to the new show, my friends. News from driverless cars, again, as almost every week. Uh, and this week the news is uh, coming out that Lyft, the big competitor of Uber, um, is gonna launch a project with driverless BMWs in Las Vegas. So they're gonna launch about 30 BMW 5 Series that are gonna be autonomous and you can use them to go from one side of the strip to the other side. So that's gonna be really neat to try that out. Uh, but on the other hand, the, the state of California just shared the news that there are still a lot of issues with driverless cars. Um, if, if traffic is normal and nothing special happens, those cars can drive perfectly. But at a certain moment when humans and other vehicles are doing things that are seen as illegal or awkward, uh, a driverless vehicle doesn't really know what to do. So there's still some work to do in, in terms of training and in terms of learning the car how to deal with those crazy humans behind the steering wheel. Um, and it's gonna take a couple of years more to, to really get there that those cars can really work without any human help. There was big news from uh, from Google this week. It was really impressive to see. They presented, let's say, the new generation of, uh, of voice. And uh, you should listen to this. Um, they had a phone call of their Google Home with a hairdresser and Google made an appointment. So basically a computer was talking to a human to make an appointment. And you should check this out. Let's, let's listen to this for a second. Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. And I know this is just like one case now, but you can see the potential of this. And this is like Google Duplex that they launched, something completely new where they really want to go into these natural um, conversations that computers can have. And people have been talking a lot about computers beating the Turing test. Well, I think this is pretty close to it. And probably one or two years from now, natural conversations are going to be like the most natural thing for, for us to do. And I, can, I cannot wait for the moment that I can say, hey, Google, I need an appointment with my hairdresser or I need to book a flight and that then the machine takes over and I don't have to spend time on this. So I was really impressed with this and I think this is a new fundamental step forward in the world of, uh, of voice. So guys, this was my weekly update. It was a shorter one than usual. It's a short week here in Belgium. It's a national holiday, but I did want to share these two uh, news items with you guys. I hope you enjoyed them and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.